So why did we launch the iFund? We saw several trends evolving simultaneously that got us really excited. First of all, wireless broadband everywhere, directly into your pocket. Secondly, a company like Apple that had a real consumer brand and was uh, expert at developing great consumer products coming into this market that had historically been done by handset OEMs that didn't have good consumer experiences. A piece of hardware, the iPhone, that was fundamentally a computing device first and a phone second. App Store, which sits on 150 million desktops via iTunes and can deliver new forms of software directly to consumers with no intermediaries. And finally, a software development kit that would enable people, developers, uh, many of them who are in small two, three person companies, to develop desktop like software that had historically been impossible on mobile devices. So, what we had was we had a computing device in your pocket that was broadband connected. It was personal, it was social, it was context aware, and it could enable an entirely new class of applications. And this gives you a sense of what that really means. So to put it in raw terms, how many of you guys own an iPod? Okay, that's <laughs> oh, wow. a lot of people. So the iPhone is outselling the iPod over its two and a half year launch period by a factor of 12. 12 times as many iPhones have been sold as iPods. And you saw how many people own iPods in, in its two and a half year launch period. How many of you guys have downloaded a song on iTunes? Okay. The App Store is outselling iTunes over its two year launch period by 20 times. Two billion applications have been downloaded on the App Store in its first eight quarters. And that same, uh, that same period of time in iTunes history, only had 100 million songs downloaded. Putting it in more simple terms for something that you guys are, or analogies that you guys would be familiar with, Mary Maker put this slide together recently and it showed what's happening with the iPhone, which is on the far left. iPhone and iPod Touch is a, a, a consistent platform compared to things we know like Netscape, five times as large as Netscape. AOL, eight times as large as AOL. N mode in Japan, which was, was previously the most successful mobile platform, twice as big as M mode nine quarters after launch. So, what does that mean for us? Uh, it suggests that there's an entirely new class of applications. We've invested in nine companies so far, and we're going after super verticals in, those nine, in, in the, that area of mobile, we're going after advertising, commerce, real time content creation, communication, and location based services. Uh, we think that there will be a significant revolution in the way that people access information, which is what this is really about, when it becomes mobilized and it becomes real time. And we're looking to invest in many more companies in that area.